Ten years ago in Pinoca, Donna Rudd found a dead bat in her basement vent and vacuumed out the droppings. I had developed a severe muscle pain, dehydration, um, uh, joint pain. It was one of the first recorded cases of histoplasmosis in Alberta with no travel history. Now a new study confirms 45 cases in the province between 2011 and 2018, 15 acquired here. The rare fungal infection comes from inhaling spores found in bat or bird droppings or soil. So typically you think of um, travel to the Ohio and Mississippi River Valleys, as well as southern Ontario and Quebec. Um, but we were, were we were seeing cases where uh, patients hadn't traveled. Dr. Tannis Dingle says those were mainly in rural areas of central Alberta and likely related to construction. So proximity to construction sites or um, in people's um, homes, if they were doing older homes, if they were doing construction, or even cleaning out churches, old churches. It's not known how many of the cases were from bats, but Dr. Vikram Misra says the animals carry all kinds of microbes, likely including the virus that led to the COVID-19 pandemic. Bats and viruses have a very special relationship. Uh, that they've evolved over the millions of years. Bat immune systems prevent them from getting sick and becoming infectious, unless they're stressed. I mean, the habitats are are uh, shrinking, um, and so there's more contact between bats and people. Dr. Dingle adds climate change could also contribute to spore survival in soil, Histoplasmosis can be mistaken for the flu or pneumonia, so physicians need to know it can happen in Alberta. It's just something for doctors to consider in patients that have compatible symptoms.